Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, February 4th, 2018. Getting out from work. Surprisingly, I had to work last night. Actually, uh, I did everything last night. Went out and went to work. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the Pac-Man book. Next book will be the 20 times the cash. 20 times cash book. I think that one's going to sell out quicker um, because a lot of symbols on there. Anyway, jumping on the highway. What's going on, everybody? I'm tired as hell. I went out last night um, to the club. Got out from the club like around, I think it was almost 1.30 or something like that. A little bit earlier than normal. Had to go drive down to work. It's a beautiful day. I think it's going to hit 80 degrees today for Super Bowl Sunday. Anyway, let me roll up the windows or you won't be able to hear me. Let me crank up the AC because it's hot. Anyway, so I've, I've noticed a couple of people on the channel they're saying that the Florida's coming out with a brand new game for the first time ever, $30 uh, um, ticket, but that is not the case. Florida had a $30 ticket 10 years ago. It was called High Roller. Um, it was a multiple game ticket. I loved it. I really loved that ticket. And I have a couple of them that I still have in my collection. And I will showcase them. I have to find them on my my vintage uh, tickets. It was a $30 High Roller game. It had several games. One of them is was get three like symbols like a slot machine and you win the prize shown. The second game was if you get a roll the dice, 7 or 11, you win. The third one was a match your wheel number with the other number. And um, there was another game there. Well, the cards. If, you're, if your card beats the dealer's card, and then they had a little bonus box. If you said, it said if you got the money back, you win $100 automatically. That was a $30 game back in, I think it was 2008. And um, I'm going to find those tickets. I have a whole bunch of those tickets. I, in fact, I remember I had them. And the funny thing about that game is they had a second chance, but it wasn't for anybody that, to play a second chance. If you had to file a claim for that ticket, in other words, if you won $1,000 or more, then you qualified to win, I think it was $2 million. It was a special uh, um, second chance for those who had to file a claim for them. So it was a very interesting game uh, that they had back then. I love those multiple games on one ticket. Florida better start. I wish they'd do that again. I love multiple games in one ticket. Anyway, so yeah, it is not going to be the first time Florida had a $30 ticket. This will be the second time. Um, Ten years ago, we had a $30 high roller ticket. Anyway, with that being said, I'll try to find the tickets. I'll dig them up sometime this week and um, and uh, just see where the hell I put them. Anyway, I am just tired right now, very exhausted. I'm, you know, I don't no, normally work on Saturday nights, but I had to do it last night. And damn, if you think I'm going to stop partying on a Saturday, you got to be crazy. I went out, had a great time. Didn't drink much. I don't, I don't know, I just, you know, with this work schedule, I kind of just had a drink once. One beer, two beers, that was it. Couldn't uh, feel the buzz. And I really don't like drinking beer anymore. Anyway, uh, for those who requested the money back from the Pac-Man book, I will be mailing them out. Mailing them out. Listen to me. I'll be PayPaling it tomorrow, mañana. And uh, Deli Ortiz, you requested uh, $25 of your winnings to play some hit 500s and the 20 times. I will do that during this week, definitely. And what else? Anybody else out there? that one you want to let it write on the 20 times book let me know what you guys are gonna do anyway I am just trying to fly it's funny to be on this road and there's no traffic there's places like a parking lot during the weekdays but um all right have a wonderful wonderful day Super Bowl Sunday New England Patriots Philadelphia Eagles um, I think it's going to be like Eagles going to be winning most of the game and then the Patriots in the fourth quarter will come back and win it. Just like they always seem to play that way all the time when the, when, uh, the, the Patriots play. 
they seem to be like down and then down but close and then at the very end they win the game they did it last year against Atlanta they did it this year in the AFC Championship against Jacksonville it's a common theme for them have you noticed that and a lot of people I could understand why they kind of think that football is fake because uh, it seems to be happening the same pattern over and over again all of this started with the Patriots when the old tuck rule came into effect when it looked like the Raiders were going to the Super Bowl back in 2000 or was it 2001 against um, the New England Patriots was it the Super Bowl or the championship one of the two and uh, I don't know they were playing for the Super going to see who was gonna be the Super Bowl or for the next round but apparently the tuck rule you know, we saw that he was clearly clearly tucking it back he wasn't throwing it but of course his hand was going down or something like that like if it was gonna go but I guess he got hit or something like that. I, I, I seen the replay that was New England ever since that day that particular day the gods have been on the Patriots side literally but anyway I can't complain I mean I'm not, I'm not gonna criticize them either way they're a very good team I wish my Jets uh, will win at least a Super Bowl during my lifetime. Anyway, enjoy the game tonight. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Later.